as soon as I pick up my drumsticks, time kind of stops. I kind of phase out what's going on. You know, I'm at a happy place. For me, drums, they're my spirit instrument, you know, because I like to try new things and change things up. And drums are very flexible, very malleable, but it's still a drum. You know, I'm still Moses. One day I might change and make a folk album, and it's still Moses. I might do a punk album, it's still Moses, you know. But hopefully they always sound like me. You're talking to Moses Boyd, leader of the Exodus. <laughs> London, it just has that environment that if you're creative, it can only infuse a lot of good elements into what you do. There's a lot more openness to introduce our heritage and our experience and our culture. You know, a lot of us are second generation West Indians or Africans or from different diasporas in London. not trying to be anything we're not, you know, not trying to be what's happening in South Africa or what's happening in Chicago or what's happening in New York or wherever. It's trying to just be like, well, this is my experience, this is what I've gone through, this is where I come from and this is the music I'm creating and I'm not trying to tick anyone else's boxes but my own. And I feel that's like a common thread I feel amongst my peers. I like to try new things and push myself, but I'm always experimenting, always searching for something. So if you follow what I do and like what I do, don't get too attached to one sound because it will change, you know. People at the Soul What's Next Festival can expect a very electric performance. I'm taking some young musicians from London, so it's going to be fun for both of us, enriching and enjoyable, yeah. yeah.